Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm John Carruthers. And this is the show that de demystifies technology, especially, especially, especially robots. I like robots. Yeah. As you, as you may have thought that Sean was actually my co-host. No, he's not. He's actually a cyborg. Now, this week on the show, we are going to actually look at robots. How far have they come? You know, I was a big fan of the Jetsons and uh, Rosie the Robot and all of the cool stuff on that show. And, uh, you know, by now, we are 50 years, almost 50 years into the Jetson future. And I'm waiting for my personal robot to bring me breakfast in the morning. And it's not happened yet. Keep waiting, sucker. Yeah, there you go. All right. So on today's uh, show, we're going to look at what robots have arrived, what you can buy today, and uh, the kind of the chores that they'll do for you. That's today on Lab Rats. Error. Error. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Can we go? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. good. By all means. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to become like the 80s, like uh, bad dancing uh, retro of... Uh, thank you. Um, in the world, there are many robots, but very few these days fit the sort of the vision of the future that we had so many years ago. Um, but there are robots. Robots do exist, and you can buy them, and they're actually classified as things that do fun things for you or useful things in your house. Yes. I thought we'd start with kind of the, the useful ones, because, of course, there's a couple of categories, right? Yeah. Uh, utility robots, I mean, you, you've seen maybe utility robots um, in uh, industry, you know, they make cars these days, they make all kinds of things. You know, they, they're used in difficult situations. You could even consider some of the weapons being used in Iraq, you know, those drones that uh, fly themselves and drop bombs as robots. Really, they are an yeah. intelligent machines. Yeah, apparently they, they had one robot that uh, could carry a bunch of stuff over uh, un, uh, uneven terrain and you could knock it over and it would get right back up and keep running along. It looked a little bit like a dog. Really? Across on a dog without a head, so it was kind of creepy. But, anyways, yeah, well, there are many, many applications. A lot of them come from military, but they have migrated down to our house now. And in our house, uh, there's nobody's going to pick you up when you fall down. But uh, there's uh, a company called iRobot, which is sort of a, a reference to uh, an Isaac Asimov uh, book, I guess, was it? Yeah, there was, uh, well, there was iRobot, and uh, there was uh, a number of sequels to that. Right. Uh, a, a book that actually inspired at least two technology companies. The, uh, the company that uh, existed in that book was U.S. Robotics, which everyone will remember from right. uh, the modem days. They named themselves after that. So yeah. this is the second company with, uh, with, that with reference. a reference in there. So cool. Well, these guys, I've been watching these guys for several years now. They came out with uh, something called the Roomba, and we have a couple of the units here. I thought the Roomba was a dance. That's the Roomba. Ah. Why do you do that? Well, we wait. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Whatever. However anyway, it we promise don't, don't not, write not to dance too much on this show. Uh, iRobot, though, uh, makes a whole line of, of robots now for the house, and I, they started with the Roomba. Now, this is the Roomba here. Tell us a little bit about it, Sean. Well, the Roomba is uh, essentially a, a vacuuming robot, so one of the things that most people don't like doing when they're uh, at home is chores, and, and vacuuming is probably the, one of my least favorite things. So it's, it's a repetitive task. You just go sweep up the uh, dirt with, the, with your vacuum, and then you're done. Uh, but it takes more time than you want, so get a robot to do it. Why not? And in fact, that sort of was the sort of vision of the future, right? All the, the fact that they may be smart robots that would do the kind of cool things, you know, that you'd want, like uh, bring your breakfast in your house. But of course, the other thing robots are good at is doing mundane tasks, yeah. boring, so, repetitive things. Right. So, uh, so this, uh, these guys are obviously see spherical, <laughs> which is kind of cool, and uh, looks like a vacuum cleaner on the bottom. A little bit dusty because it's been dusting in here. Actually, what I've noticed is it's kind of clean around here these it days. It is kind of clean. It's the first time we've cleaned in a while because we're a bunch of uh, boys here. We, we don't like sweeping. So. Right. Now, anyways, this we is got the robot to do it. In interestingly enough, I've been coveting this one. Mm -hmm. um, this is the pet series. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know, I have Biff and Boo at home. Mm -hmm. And we now we have an addition to our family, Cassie, who's this like, long-haired, slightly used Q-tip, right? And she leaves like hair everywhere. So this would be very handy in my house. Don't you think? Yeah, I think, well, I, I know you don't sweep. I, absolutely not. I can hire people for that. You can, but you can also hire a robot here. Right, exactly. Now, these guys are, uh, what, $299, I think it is. Yeah, the, I mean, there's a, there's a very basic one for about 129 but if you want something that actually will hold up to the tasks of, you know, cleaning a three dirty cats. place. Yeah, yeah, three cat. You want to start at 299 They work their way up to 549 and and up, depending on how professional grade you want to get. Right. I think this one's uh, somewhere in between. 
Cool. Okay, good. Uh, and then they, I know a couple years after they sort of brought out the basic dust collector, they came out with this with a scuba, mm -hmm. the iRobot scuba. And that's here. And can I uh, pick it up here? Yep, that's just on its uh, its mat there. Oh, so it's, I better it's, not turn. It's sloshing. It's sloshing around. Listen. And that's because it's filled with water, and that's why it's called the scuba. Right. So rather than having something that just uh, dusts and uh, pulls in thing with a little brush underneath there, oh, it's leaking a little bit. It felt it a bit too full, I think. Okay. This one actually has a, a reservoir in there with some water and a little bit of uh, cleaning solution, which we have. Can I open it up? Here. Yeah, so you can you can either use the, uh, the uh, Clorox cleaning solution that comes with it, or you can uh, you can uh, put in white vinegar into it. Either How do you open it? Fine. I want to open it. Uh, push on dots. You push on push, that. Push, not pull. Ah, yeah. very cool. Now, so this is worth, yeah, this so is worth sticky. mentioning because I don't know if you guys can see that in that camera over there. But there you go, this is the water in here in this tank. And, or the cleaning solution, I guess. The cleaning solution. Right. It's got two tanks, one, uh, one wet, or one clean and one dirty. So it'll clean and then push it over into the dirty tank. Right. And then we have like a filter here for the dirt. And then what's this here? That's the battery. Battery. There you go. That's kind of cool. That's the one thing about all these is you gotta, you gotta charge them to get them to go. So it, uh, yeah. If it runs out halfway uh, through uh, the cleaning, then you know it'll be just stuck underneath the couch somewhere, and you might not know where it's gone. Now these guys are autonomous, though, right? Yeah, they are autonomous, so they they do use a little bit of uh, smart technology. Uh, they have sensors in front, so it can tell where it's going. If it bumps into something, it'll turn around and go in a different direction, and it'll basically zigzag around. They they look like they're just sort of going randomly across the floor, but it right. actually does clean up the floor, as you can tell in here. Yeah, it's actually kind of clean because it's covered all of the territory. Oh, that's good. And what about like bumps? Like you know, in here we have cables everywhere and some tape down stuff. Yeah. And so it, for tiny little bumps, it'll go over them. So like if you've got a little, uh, you know, uh, thing to hold the carpet down between two rooms, it'll go over that fairly easily. But if it's a gigantic mess, nest of cables, yeah. something behind the uh, the TV, uh, the TV uh, right. hutch, then it might stuck. go up on there and just like up and just start spinning its wheels. So right. you're not going to be doing that with the scuba because it'll probably be uh, on top of carpet or something. Um, the Roomba, which does, uh, we, all right, okay. If, if See, the, easy to assemble. There you go. Harder to take apart. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, good. Yeah, it, it can't go over big things and it'll get stuck, but uh, if it bumps into something, it'll just spin and go the other direction. I've noticed that um, that uh, they're actually, you know, they run all by themselves and they're absolutely fire and forget for the most part, which is pretty cool, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and they've actually shifted from now these, this pie shape thing to a, New form factor, which is what they call the luge, right? Tell me about that. Uh, or should we just demonstrate that? Yeah, well, we'll show that one off a little bit later because the luge is uh, busy cleaning right now. Oh, is it busy cleaning? It's okay. busy cleaning. Okay. So. okay, well, let's move on to the next category then because I think this is, this is the other piece of the sort of the robot pie, so to speak, mm -hmm. you know, is sort of the, the hobbyist toy piece of it. Right. And we obviously have some friends here. Yeah, we have friends. And people that have been watching us for a while may have noticed we have a couple of robots up here as yeah. well. We've got uh, one over there and two over here from our friends at Wowie. Right. They did something called the Robo Sapien. You've got right. a couple of... Uh, yeah, I love these guys. This is Pleo. Right? This is the, he's an autonomous kind of a life force pet kind of thing. It's a rubber dinosaur, but mm -hmm. it's pretty smart. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, so these, these ones right here have a little bit of smarts built into them. They'll, they'll wander around the environment and, and do that. But some of these have been fairly expensive, too. Yeah. Uh, and I guess you've got uh, Elmo back there, who's a little bit simpler. but a little uh, robot, yeah, robotic, yeah. It just basically responds to inputs. So you you t tickle his tummy and all that. So mm -hmm. th there's very basic robots, and there's more complicated ones that have a little bit of awareness of where they are and can do things like the, the uh, Wowie uh, Robo Sapiens behind us. Now we've got two new ones here from uh, from the folks at Wowie. Mm. This one's called the Tribot, and uh, it uh, essentially is Tribot because it's got three wheels underneath here, yeah. and uh, it can wander around uh, a little bit uh, autonomously. So I'll just turn him on here, and we'll put him, oh, we'll put him down on the floor here because uh, he'll fall off the table fairly quickly. So you can make him roll around like this and spin him around. Oops. Oh, you have to be in line of sight to make this work. So, you so this isn't a robot per se, it's a remote control toy though. Uh, it is, it's a remote control toy, but you can also get him into a... It's kind of creepy. Yeah, so it, it'll explore as well. So you can set it up to guard an area, it has an alarm, it has a game that you can play with it. It's right. got a trigger on, the, on this side right here. You can point it and it'll follow it. 
And these guys so, are cheap, right? They're like under 100 bucks. I think this one's what? Yeah, 70 so, bucks, 70, 80 bucks. That one's uh, 80 dollars, and this one right here, the uh, the Rover, same sort of deal. He's 69.99, and they'll they'll wander around and uh, and play. They're they're traumatize your kids. pets. Yeah, definitely. Very good. Some a little bit dumb. They they they're not necessarily the uh, the sharpest in the. In the, in the in robot the bunch, because they, they will walk right into a wall at some points, but uh, they, they do have some uh, some ability to uh, to move around. Anyways, so uh, but largely toys these, though in that particular case. These two are toys, and right. uh, your kids will have fun. They'll drive you as an adult completely nuts, probably listening to that over yeah. and over again. Um, yeah, potentially. So so there's that. So let's uh, let's grab these guys okay. back again. And then but and then I guess this is sort of the hybrid uh, um, version of robots now, which is sort of this hobbyist piece. Yeah. Beyond toys, right? Now, I know that this, this is called the spiky here. Certainly, you know, when I mentioned Pleo before, Pleo's uh, uh, also a, uh, a hobbyist because there's, um, if I can get on the camera here, you can see there's a little SD card slot in there. And you can actually download, um, you know, personalities on an SD card and, you know, take on a Christmas personality or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, so, so this spiky here is kind of this hobbyist. It's a hybrid toy, right? Right. It's a it's a hybrid toy. Uh, what it is is uh, it's from Meccano. So people may remember Meccano oh, and from their yeah. Erector set, where you put together long strips of metal and uh, build things. Yeah. Essentially, and this one right here, these other ones, they come pre-assembled. You don't have to build your Roomba or the, the Wowie. Yeah. This one right here, it comes in tiny, tiny pieces. Poor Andrew. It was Andrew Moore Crispin Andrew had to build Moore this, right? Andrew Moore Crispin, our web editor and uh, gadget TV host, he put this together, and we got a little bit of footage of him here putting the whole thing together, and it uh -huh. took him something like two hours to put this thing together from scratch, oh, from right. these tiny pieces. So it keeps you busy. Yeah, it keeps you busy, but if you've got a kid that's uh, uh, just itching to get into robotics and wants to build something, loves projects, then this is the way to go. So now, oh. the, uh, this uh, fella here, we'll actually put him down as well. The, uh, the nice thing about this guy is not only is he a robot, he also is Wi-Fi enabled. So yeah. he's now connected to our, our network, right. same as uh, my, uh, my computer here. So now from my computer, I can drive him. Oh, neat. I can turn him around. Now, th this means that you could be in Japan right. on your computer, connected to a Wi-Fi network to the internet, and it would talk to him at home. Right. So uh, I've got in here my... Uh, a little program here that it's designed right now to connect to a local robot on our network. But yeah, as you say, you can connect as long as it can see the outside world. If you can connect, create a tunnel to it, then you can connect to him mm -hmm. uh, from from another location. So you can use it to uh, let's go over and say hi to Matt here. So uh, and one thing you'll notice if you're looking at my screen right now is this guy is also a camera. Mm -hmm. So not only can uh, can I wander him around the area, I can actually see what's going on here. So I can see Matt. I can uh, give Matt a special message, like you know, a bomb blast or set off an alarm. Right. Can you but, make like tooting noises? Uh, probably. There's, there's, there's two custom spots here. here. Both. There's, there's two custom spots here that you can use. Uh, you can uh, also record what you're doing here using this little client. And there's also something called telephony. So if I wanted to have a conversation with Matt over VoIP from wherever I am, I could do that. Oh, neat. Uh, so actually talk to them. So if you're having this uh, r running around your home mm -hmm. uh, and you notice that there's an intruder, you can actually go up to them and uh, say, you know, what are you doing? Yeah, go away. Leave the house immediately or there will be trouble. And they'll crush it with their boot. And, and Yeah, and then that'll be it. <laughs> that'll so be I'm it. not saying it's a perfect solution <laughs> for that, but at least but when they'll they, know. When they build in like uh, poison darts, now, now we're talking about a real useful solution. Oh, there we go. So we've got the... Uh, so you can see it yeah, comes yeah. through there. So it's, it's not, uh, it's not the, the clearest thing. And it, yeah, the, a, a robber can crush it. But by the time they're seeing you have seen them, then they might be worried that the jig is up. So it's so. a deterrent and a toy. That's kind yeah. of fun. And awesome. you all set up in video surveillance mode. Now this is about two ninety nine dollars plus your time creating it. Right. Well, still, I think that's great. And that, that seems to be the magic number is $300 price point mm -hmm. for robots these days. People seem to be willing to pay that kind of money. Mm -hmm. So that's great. That's the spiky wow. What the spiky from uh, Meccano. From the spiky from Meccano. Very, very cool. All right, great. Now, let's talk about the luge. Uh, we'll talk about that after the break. Oh, but I want to see the luge. You will after okay, the break. Okay. What else do you have for us? Are we? That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, let's take a break. 
uh, from uh, Robot Friends. And when we come back, uh, we're going to show you something called the Luge, which is a new thing from iRobot. Uh, picture time, and of course, a little clip from Butterscotch.com. That's after this. Now, uh, iRobots sort of had these pie-shaped robots, right, for a little while, um, and they finally changed their form factor. Now, you guys may have not have seen this, but the, the, they're innovating in the bathroom at the moment, where they're, uh, they've uh, come up with the uh, robotic uh, um, toothbrush. No, 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 don't. Like this. Isn't that right? That's no. what it looks like. Anyway, it's no. big. I huh? thought you were going somewhere much different. I that. am not going to be dirty. This is a PG show, my friend. Now, you tell me. What is it? It's the okay. luge, right? This is the luge, and the, the luge. Uh, that that name makes you think of like uh, the Olympic Olympics. sport going down a trail. It's, yeah, it's kind of like that. Right. It's designed, as you can tell from our rain gutter up front here, to be a, a rain gutter cleaner. Cool. So now, I don't know. You, you've got a house now. Mm -hmm. um, well, the you, rain gutters, as it turns out. Yeah. And so, it's been raining. Yeah, and there's probably leaves up there now that it's fall, and. You know, now that it's raining and, and full of leaves, you can imagine how disgusting it is up there. You don't want to get up there with your hands and start scooping it out to clean it Definitely out. Definitely right? not. Luge to the rescue. Luge to the so, rescue. Okay, good. So what this is, it's uh, a robot that uh, detaches the handle here. This is your remote control. Oh. And this other one we put in the gutter. So we'll need some uh, gutter holders here to, <laughs> to bring this up. Up to the Where level. Where they belong. Of the yeah, so your Working gutter in the is gutter. usually this one. So get, get, on, get on your ladder and you, you put this into the... Oh yeah, by the way, these are our, these are our, our leaves. fake leaves. All right, so you get uh, the luge to uh, so now you're, it on. You're down on, on the ground now. And hey! Is it working? Well, it uh, isn't going forward or back, but it is, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> That's great. Look at that. Wow. Anyways, so you just, I mean, obviously you have to get it up into the gutter, and it's not going to Yeah, but all it the beats, it the really beats, like moving the ladder and doing that whole thing. That's very cool. Hey, easy. Hey. Okay, enough. All right. Careful. I That's think we cool. Need, we need some cleanup now. Good thing we've got some robots here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, call out the uh, the the Roombas. Um, 129 bucks for this, right? Uh, yeah, it starts at 129. They have three different versions of it. So, uh, you know, depending on how industrial strength you want to get, and then again, when you're done, just pop that back on. And it actually comes with a hook so that you can hang it off the wall. I, I like imagine it. it gets pretty disgusting on this end. Yeah, I can imagine. All right. Well, you need a robot to clean the end, maybe. A robot to, to main, maintain your robots? That's the future, I think. Okay. All right. Now we have a, for our clip of the week, we have a robot thingy. Yeah. What we, is it? We do have more robots. Now, when we went to CES this last year, we actually saw a bunch of robots, including some of these things. But we also saw something. These ones are uh, a little Getting bit uh, low end. People can actually afford these for their house. Yeah. Uh, now, there's other robots that you can get if you're willing to spend a little bit more money. It's not going to be for the house. Uh, it's one company called AnyBot had a $30,000 telepresence robot that could be deployed into a business. So if you're uh, a manager and you need to go into an area that's you know, 10,000 miles away, you don't have to fly there. You can just deploy the robot yeah. and just show off at work uh, by remote. Robot boss. So anyways, there you we'll go. take a look at that here. Let's, let's take a look. And uh, when we come back, uh, picture time. That's after this. Welcome on deck. I'm Matt Harris. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman. Welcome to the A-List. Hi, welcome to Miss Download. So I came here to CES looking for robot butlers and I found what might actually be a robot boss. Right here in front of us is the AnyBots and uh, we're here to talk to the founder, Trevor. Hi. Trevor, so tell us about these uh, AnyBots. This, this looks very cool. Thanks. Um, this is our telepresence robot. It's mm -hmm. for communicating with people and mm -hmm. collaborating. Um, so it's a, like a video conference system, but it's on wheels, and mm -hmm. you can go around and talk to anyone you want to. Mm -hmm. So in, in terms of uh, having this up and running around the system, what, what, what do you need to make this work? Um, you need um, a Wi-Fi connection like mm -hmm. most office buildings do these days, um, and it, it just, just runs on batteries. I noticed that it is uh, standing upright at this point. How, how are you getting it to sing? It's sort of like a Segway? The 
Yeah, it balances on two wheels, and, and you know, not unlike a Segway. Um, and uh, so it's, it's, you know, constantly having to correct its balance to stay up. What, what other kinds of mobility does it have? Um, it can bend over. Um, so if we uh, if we uh, ask uh, Scott, who's driving it now, to, to bend over. Um, it, it can bend uh, pretty low. It can, it can see uh, down to about there. And so what's the low. application of this? Sort of like bowing uh, politely to someone or just to get into smaller spaces? Either one. Yeah, both, for, both as a social gesture and just to look at something low down. Lego uh, robots from CES last year. It's uh, back in January of 2009. And um, if you want to see the entire clip, you know, head on over to butterscotch.com. Uh, we actually, there's a few, uh, we covered a fair few robots last year, didn't we? Yeah, over the last few years, I've, I've loved covering robots all the number of years that I've gone for the last couple of years right. for, for Lab Rats. So. And we'll be back. We're going back to uh, CES this year, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this January tw in 2010, uh, just a few months away now. Uh, and I know that there'll be lots of robots there this year. I so. predict. This is going to be the year of the robot. Okay, good. There you go. That's what he said. I guess the year of Windows 7. That's my prediction. <laughs> okay. All right. Picture time. Picture time. Was that that was a look of disdain, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, go on. Picture you get time. Get a robot that will be excited about Windows Seven next time. Okay, got it. All right. So all right. Uh, first up, we have. Now I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce the name of our viewer. Cats. Well, th these are kittens, oh, uh, kittens from our viewer in uh, Melbourne. Uh, mm -hmm. Name is Kason or Kasun. I'm not 100% sure, so apologies in advance. Mm -hmm. Uh, but these are two kittens, and he didn't give us the name of the kittens. The cute, and we'll though. just say uh, Sean and Andy, I Sean guess. Sean and Andy, there you go. Uh, Andy is the one with the mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, so next up, we have uh, from our viewer Steve yes. in uh, New York. This is his website, godoftech.com. Right. We did invite you guys to, uh, to plug your websites on the show, and... Uh, that's what Steve's doing here. Godoftech.com or what? Yeah, Godoftech.com. And uh, he says July of 2010, I guess, is the official launch. So there might not be much there when you go right now. But oh, it's not one of those coming soon websites, is it? Uh, it's got the, uh, the guy with the little shovel. Coming soon. Coming soon. But anyways, check out in July 2010. Go, go now and just see what's there. Yeah, exactly. But uh, thank you, Steve, for sending that along. Very good. All right. Well, that was an eventful episode. It was. I enjoyed that it's a lot. Kind of dirty here. I thought we got cleaning robots, and yet it's dirtier here somehow. It's always the way. All right. Well, thank you for uh, pushing play this week. We love when you come and see us because it would be foolish for us to be here if you weren't out there. Um, my name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. Check out butterscotch.com for our show notes, and we'll see you next time. Are you ready? How much would it piss you off if I did the entire episode like that? You would pay, but you can feel free. You had a perfect opportunity to burn it, and you let it go. What was my what was the what was the burn that I missed? Just, well, it's like you're that robotic all the time, or something like that. Like you don't, that's all you bring to it. I will insert it where somewhere appropriate. Okay. <laughs> it's too late. I'm uh, I'm back to being me now. <laughs> yeah. So can I tell the difference? No. Yeah. Whoa. Hey,